Nam Yangju Hongnung Yurong Royal Tomb of Joseon. These days, the place chosen for a walk or outing is a nearby place. I've been living in Nam Yangju for over 10 years, and I'm going to go to a place I've never been to. Let's go. The royal tombs of the Joseon dynasty were located in a busy street. 352 to 1, Hongyurong RO, Nam Yangju C, Gyeonggi Du. When you enter the parking lot, there is a bus parking lot on the left. If you come by car like as there was a separate parking lot for general visitors to the right. Visiting hours are from 9 am. The parking lot was spacious and I thought parking was free. When I searched neighbor, the car parking fee was 1100 won per hour. I thought there were only royal tombs for King Gojong and Empress Myeongsung. Huh, it was a place where you could see Sunjong, Empress Sunmyung, Empress Sunjung, and the tomb of Princess Diokai, King Weichen. Admission 1000 won for 25 to 65 years old groups of 10 or more. 800 won per person 50% discount for Namyangju citizens multiple children, certificate of family relations, free of charge you just have to prove it. Since we are citizens of Namyangju, we paid 1000 won for 500 won per person and entered. Every Monday is a regular holiday. When you enter through the main gate, you have to put your ticket against the machine to enter. It was definitely a downtown area, but once you step inside, it's like a different world. Hongnung is a tomb constructed at the end of the Joseon dynasty, and since King Gojong proclaimed the Korean Empire and ascended to the throne, it is said that it was built following the style of the emperor's tomb and modeled after the hiring of the Ming dynasty. I think it would be good to go for a walk in the spring or fall. Today, I had a field trip at a daycare center. A pond is created in the original map format. The composition diagram of a pond in the form of a circular island with a circular island and a circular shape of the entire pond. Saragan Saragan here is a place where food for ancestral rites to be used for making ancestral rites at the royal tombs is simply heated and prepared. It is called Hongnung Jaesil. This is said to be the place where the memorial services of Emperor Gojong and Empress Myeongsung of the Korean Empire were prepared. I went inside. The inside of the room looked like the house of a Joseon nobleman. Let me explain a bit about Gojong and Empress Myeongsung. Gojong the 26th king of the Joseon dynasty and the first emperor of the Korean Empire reigned 1863-1907. In the midst of a power struggle between Empress Myeongsung and Daewangan, he suffered interference in internal affairs from major powers including Japan. Flowering and the Onion of Sugu were at odds, and the Treaty of Protection of the Sick, Korea-US, and korea Yungsu Treaty were concluded. In 1907, when the Second World Peace Conference was held in The Hague, Netherlands, King Gojong sent an emissary, including Lee Jun, to pray for the restoration of national sovereignty, but failed due to Japanese interference. Rather, because of this emissary incident, he was abdicated to the Crown Prince Sunjong by Japanese threats, abdicated, and after receiving the title of Emperor Sunjong from Emperor Sunjong, he spent his final years in Deokshugung Palace and passed away on January 21, 1919.
Empress Myeong Sung Shi is the concubine of King Gojong, the 26th King of Joseon and the first emperor of the Korean Empire, and the birth mother of the second emperor, Sun Jong. In 1895 she died of the Yulmi incident. Last name is Min, Min. He defeated Daewangan's government and realized Gojong's true government. He led the establishment of trade and diplomatic relations and established diplomatic relations with Japan in 1876. After the Ima War, he intervened in the Qing dynasty to oppress the Gaewa party and carry out pro-Russian policies. He was assassinated during the Yulmi incident. When Empress Myeongsung joins forces with Russia to expel Japanese forces it was assassinated in 1895 by the Japanese who felt a crisis. When King Gojong passed away in 1919, the site of the Hongnung in Jiamgok, which had been interrupted, was reconstructed, and Empress Myeongsung was first sealing, and then the tomb was created by enshrining King Gojong together. If you look inside the Wangnung Precipitation Hall, it is explained with pictures and text so that you can know the Jesujin Soldo. The Hongnung and Yurong tombs constructed as the tombs of the emperor differ from the existing royal tombs of the Joseon dynasty in the location, type, and number of stones, and instead of a regular square, there is a settling. Obviously, there were two places, Hongnung and Yurong. Walking around Hongnung, I chose a different route and passed Yurong. There is a way to the tomb of King Uichen, the tomb of Princess Diokai, and the tomb of Youngwon and Hoin Won. You just need to present your Hongyurong admission ticket. But, when I went in, there was no one there, so I just went. Yongwon Crown Prince Yuimin, King Yongchen, of the Republic of Korea and Princess Yuimin, Queen Yongchen, of the Republic of Korea. How to distinguish tombs, circles, and tombs. Ling. Tombs of Kings and Queens Wanwan. Crown Prince, Crown Princess and the king's cousin birth parents of those who ascended to the position of kings are crown princes, the real mothers of the kings from her concubines, not queen's tomb mu, tombs of other royal families. There was a place where I thought it would be good to visit with children if they were studying history. From the first king of the Joseon dynasty to the Korean Empire you could show the kings the history and where the tombs are. My wife and I passed and read it as we went. There were all the kings of the Joseon dynasty who said that children had a difficult time studying history, so I thought it might be helpful. I tried to look around all the places, but there were some missing places in the middle. I thought it would be good to carry the tour information at the information desk. There is also a Dulegel in Hongnung and Yurong, so it would be good to look around after viewing. Neither my wife nor I were able to see it, but after looking around the dull gill, we walked for about an hour and a half. Autumn is a good season for walking. It seems like it will be a better place to walk if it is colored with autumn leaves. If the video was helpful please subscribe and like.